Hey, this is Lola, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. Except yet again, we are in a place that is not technically a state, even though it really should be. That's right, we are in sunny Puerto Rico, home to over 3 million people who are tax without representation. That's right, you remember that from American history class, taxation without representation. That is happening today, buddy. It's modern day colonialism. Uh, Puerto Rico, that makes Puerto Rico more populous than 20 of the 50 U.S. states. And the only reason it is not a U.S. state, it's not because the people there don't want to be. It's because making Puerto Rico a state would be the political equivalent of taking the Republican Party out behind the shed and shooting it. That's the only reason. Uh, so get ready for, for some... Uh, colonial atrocities and uh one percent or bullshit this house was built in the 80s 86 so it is sure to be an absolute mess we've got 30 million dollars so i mean and you know this is someone's vacation home this is not someone's primary home in puerto rico this is house number two for some one percenter only seven beds six baths 5,000 square feet for 30 million bucks. That is not a lot of house, but you are on an island with limited real estate and a whole lot of disaffected peasants. Architecturally, this long hacienda kind of style. I did have to, I skipped past a couple of, of haciendas that were um, multiple buildings and one of them they only they only seem to be using like shitty pictures from a wedding there that didn't actually show you anything about the house so this is this is the one we're we're left with there it is from above we could see there are a couple of buildings but generally it seems to be contiguous lots of palm trees bright and sunny night near the water very likely to get blown away in a hurricane there's that ocean view you know how i feel about that the ocean overrated and look at all of that monoculture grass i don't think it's it's wanting for water although this is an island so water supplies are limited and i don't think that you can water that grass with salt water so maybe they are maybe they are committing some ecological uh, atrocities there i imagine it's very hard to keep like a freshwater surface source on an island like this with the you know you get hurricanes that just blow the ocean water in and here's the back of the house not really using the outdoor space i mean you got a pool over here you've got a covered porch but i mean just wide open this this whole lawn it's it's very uh pre-revolution france the lawn is just there to to brag about how you can waste all of this space and they're showing us the property lines that tennis court that you don't get the tennis court i think that is that's a ripoff right there really long driveway to get up here and we got a circle driveway all right very very modern styling here this is uh, this looks like it should flip down but i don't think it does um brutalist uh, that's that's with the concrete the the blocky concrete is is the brutalist style uh but there's enough you know of these warm modern details that it doesn't look quite uh quite so soviet russia got some nice banana plants we're coming in this very sleek modern looking door oh and it is a sea of white um i i wish i could be surprised but i cannot and what a weird wide open it's it's like walking into a hotel lobby or or an office lobby or something like that the the open ceiling here and the sterile white and these awkward little sitting area surrounded by wide open stone floors what a hostile environment right, we got uh, interesting interesting furniture pieces there with some candles in pillars i guess all right do they have the pottery barn in puerto rico i guess they must because because this whole this whole setup here that's uh the, the pillar candles that's straight out of the pottery barn 
Oh, Tom Ford. That's I think that's a fashion thing, Tom Ford. So this is, I guess, for when you invite your models over, because you're a one percenter and, and you can afford a systemic objectification of the female form. There are a lot of plants. I mean, I, I would hope that you would take advantage of a tropical climate in all of these windows and have some plants, but they really don't balance out the the stark color scheme. You Normally, plants would be enough to break that up, but it is just really oppressive. So that opens up to the patio out here. We got some orbs hanging from the ceiling. Okay. These, I believe, are air conditioners, and I... I've been in rooms with those kind of air conditioners before, and they're kind of shitty. I'm I, surprised that that's what they're going with, but okay. Uh, we got a balcony up here, so the entire house sounds like the entire house. You can't make a noise anywhere without annoying everyone in the building. Looks like we got plenty of tax evasion art going on here. Oh, another orb. This one looks like a, I don't know, a medieval torture orb. Great, great, I love that. Is this another white sitting area? Yeah, this is this is white sitting area number one, which is open to white sitting area number two. Uh, I'm really glad that we've got two of these. I, I think that was necessary. These are definitely not just the same room over again for no reason. Oh, and the can lights. I just noticed all these fucking can lights. Of course. Of course we've got those. God forbid you should actually put any warm touches like a sconce in here. Yeah, there's literally no lamps. I mean, they've got the candles, but you can tell by looking at them that the candles have never, literally never been lit. So these can lights, these glaring can lights are literally the only way to light this space. That's awful. Overhead lighting at night? No, thank you. God, this is bleak. I'm like, oh, look, it's concrete. Finally, a color. <laughs> the color of concrete. And we've got the, this outdoor furniture, which is the outdoor furniture that, I don't know, everyone who makes six figures or more has. I guess there's just nowhere farther to go in the outdoor furniture market. That's stop, The quality stops right there. Right, we, this is an interesting light fixture here. All right, we've taken a break from the can lights and we, we're doing this driftwood. Okay, I, I can respect that. We gotta, okay, but this table, let's talk about this table because this does not look like a dining table. Uh, first of all, you've, you're continuing the brutalist architecture with the, the legs. Second of all, these are not dining chairs. These are office chairs. I swear to God, you can tell when a one percenter has spent their entire life in an office or a hotel or like on business trips or something because they literally do not understand what a home is supposed to look like. These are fucking office chairs. And you've put them around this table that looks like a conference table. This isn't a dining table. That's a conference table. You got more orbs. Rich people love an orb. And then we got the... Is this the kitchen over here? I'm... All right, let's see what this bar is about. Yes, this is the island for the kitchen. Um, I don't see a refrigerator so far. So they've, they've hidden it somewhere. That's the stovetop. Those are the ovens. Otherwise, I don't see a lot of cooking implements. And maybe it's just that everything is so white that it's impossible to see anything. It's like a polar bear in a blizzard. These look supremely uncomfortable, I do want to say. Where is the ref Oh, there's the refrigerator. All right. Um, that's... It's not the worst ergonomics for a kitchen, but it's not great. You know, you think you go and you get your produce out of the fridge, and then you have to walk to the other side of the kitchen to wash it, and then prepare it over here. It's That's not the best, but it's... Eh, I've seen worse. The white, though. The oppressive white. And, of course, we got plenty of tax evasion art, which I'm sure they're beautiful pictures. They literally don't do anything to break up what a white, depressing box this house is. This space, I, this is probably the closest we've come to having the space, you know, the color scheme broken up between this dark wood here and just the windows so you could see the green and blue outside. That's another thing. You're... You're in fucking paradise. You are on a tropical island 
and your inside of your house looks like a fucking gulag in Siberia or or you know, why why would you want your house to look so sterile and cold when you are literally in in this beautiful tropical paradise look at that outside the window the most beautiful the most beautiful view you could ever hope for inside it's it's an asylum I mean, they're really just leaning into the brutalism. I mean, that's that's what it is. Is they've just they've gone with a brutalist aesthetic, and they are holding on to it just white knuckle. Uh, ugh, I hate it. I really hate it. All right, we got some skylights. We've got some more tax evasion art. We've got the orbs from above. You've at least got a spectacular view out here. Anywhere that there's a window. You're going to get a little bit of relief, but I feel like it almost makes the interior more jarring. Like, this almost looks like you've hung a picture of paradise on the wall. Because it's so hard to reconcile that this space is here. I do like the warm wood ceilings. That does break it up a little bit. You know, I, I don't even necessarily need them to paint the walls. You know, a little bit of color in the furniture, a little bit of color in the flooring, anything. We've got a TV in the room because we hate sleep hygiene. Uh, this seems to be a bedroom that's got multiple screen doors, which I'm not a fan of. That's, there's also, uh, I think these are pull down window treatments here. But pull down window treatment that goes over the whole door, that seems a little awkward. Oh, this is... We've got a fishbowl of a shower. Enormous. We've got a bidet separate from the toilet. Uh, which, I don't mind a bidet. I'm not like a bidet crazy person. And I understand that, you know, for a while this was how you did the bidet and toilet combo. But these days, they've got the bidets that you just, you build it into the toilet, and, and now having the separate one looks just so awkward that you just, you have to like do the little shuffle over to, to wash your ass, and we've got a, we've got a designated ass washing station. Just, just put it in the toilet and get rid of this thing. Another white bedroom. Nice big windows. Cushions just sitting on the floor. Why? Where are those from? Why didn't you move them for the picture? I have questions. God, if you were trying to brush your teeth at night and, and like you just stay like sleepy and cozy at night, you turn on the light in here and you are awake forever. It's so bright. This room is a little bit cozier. I, uh, the, the ceiling seems to be doing more work in here. It might be because of just the angle that we're seeing the windows from. Or maybe I'm just getting, I don't know, uh, used to the bleakness. Uh, but they've, they've got multiple kind of fun light fixtures in here. I wish the bedding wasn't white. I wish that carpet wasn't white. Literally anything in here could have been made a color and it would have made the entire space better. Here's the balcony. It looks like most of the bedrooms have doors that come out onto the balcony here. Yep, it looks like maybe four four bedrooms that come out onto the balcony. What are these glass doors here? Is that to a closet or a bathroom or what? Because I, I hope that's not to the hallway. That would make me really unsettled. Here's the inside of this room. It is as cold and boring as the rest of them. Um, the, the side tables, I guess, are kind of interesting. The little trunks. And we're back outside. We're looking at this little pond with the island thing with the bridge. And we've got a sitting room. I mean, they've got some, some warm wood here that's making it a little less blinding. They've got some grays. Uh, literally, this picture does... I mean... The colors in this picture are just completely lost in in the bleak and the neutral. We've got more tax evasion art going on. Sort of interesting sculpture work over here. It looks like this is a TV. I like these mirrors. Those are kind of fun. Really? We're doing a futon? In a $30 million house we're doing a futon? Who do you make sleep on this in the $30 million house? I want to see a one percenter unfold a futon and figure out how the fuck that works. I think this is a mirror. 
At my, my first instinct was to think this was a very strange room that was duplicated on either side. Um, but I, I think this is just a mirror and a weird camera angle going on here. Um, kind of a, a weird, small little sitting area. Bathroom is nothing to write home about. That's a, that's a shitty shower head to have in a $30 million house. I don't care if this is a guest bathroom. This house is $30 million. You should not have this shitty little shower head in there. What is with the rock garden tucked behind the toilet? Do you know what that is? That's a home for insects. That's what that is. Now you have to sit on this toilet with your back to this weird little rock garden and not know if there's like a scorpion or some shit in there. That's, I, I get what they were trying to do. This is, you know, it's it's the warm wood and this like sponge painted gray and the Tibetan bells or whatever. It's supposed to look like meditative and like that's a Zen garden over there. No, this is a stress inducing space. I don't want to shit with my back to open space. That's not comfortable. We're out at the pool. Got some seating, got some presumably outdoor furniture over here, and look at all that grass, all that nothing. You know, call me crazy, but if I'm going to buy a house, a, a big property like this, in a, on a tropical island, I want some perennial tropical plants. I want some nice elaborate landscaping. I want a, like a garden to walk through. If I'm going to spend 30 million dollars, give me a garden. I don't want this big open lawn. I think what just keeps striking me is that like for this price, I may I know a lot of this price tag is just the fact that it's like it's on Puerto Rico, it's on an island, it's a tropical location. Da 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 da. This house is not that nice. It's it's aesthetically ugly. It's in an architectural style that, like, I'll admit that's just not my taste, the brutalist architecture, but I feel like it's not a very popular style in general. And so the, the other houses that were ahead of this on the price list that I skipped past, they were like 48 and $46 million, and they were enormous haciendas with with multiple buildings on the property i i mean i know this is like two-thirds of the price of those but i really feel like you shouldn't downgrade this far and i mean it's not like it's not a hovel or anything it's it's obviously a mansion it's it's obviously got all of the you know mansiony bells and whistles on it it's just poorly done and it's depressing and it's ugly as sin no garden no really unique architectural features everything is just flat and bland yeah the this furniture here that's again everyone over six figures has this this same exact outdoor furniture and it's not that large I think those ceilings are probably the the most architecturally appealing feature of the entire house. And other than that, there, there's, there's really not much to it. I don't want to be bored of a house for $30 million. That's ridiculous. This pool isn't that nice. It's big. But like, I mean, the, the little blue tile, that's literally every pool in existence has that exact same tile. There's nothing unique about it. I mean, it's it's got the hot tub that, that flows into the pool. That's nice, but it's nothing special. There's, there's really nothing special about this house. And I feel like if you're going to spend this kind of money, you, you want to look for some something. <laughs> you know what? I take that back. I take that back. This is fucking special, but not in a good way. That's not, not in a good way at all. But yeah, this, I mean, it's... I, I skipped through so many rooms where I was just like, yeah, it's boring. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I don't really care about this space. You don't want to feel that way in a house with this big of a sticker price. Um, so that, 
that is the cost of colonialism in Puerto Rico. Rich white people are, are vacationing there and building huge hideous houses. Meanwhile, the actual inhabitants don't actually get a vote in legislature. Um, that's, that's the state of society right now. Great. Uh, well, if you saw anything you think I missed, if you have thoughts about the subjugation of Puerto Rico and its people, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and have a good one.